Well, I think there is a recognition that uh, the politics of rigorous discipline have made life more difficult in the short term and have increased levels of unemployment in some countries. But I hope that the Germans and others will continue to insist on financial discipline, budgetary discipline, without which Europe has no hope of a competitive economy in the future. The fact that we can accompany this with some stimulus, particularly to get young people back into jobs, can only be a good thing. The lack of agreement between France and Germany at the moment is causing Europe some problems, but there is no doubt among the parties within the Liberal family that the Germans are right in this, that it is monetary discipline which will provide the basis for growth and more jobs in the longer term. In the short term, countries like France are trying to flout the rules and we all know from the past the dangers of that because it opens the floodgates for smaller countries to do the same. I think everyone here in Brussels is very concerned about the situation in Syria, not simply the numbers of deaths and mutilations, but the vast number of refugees and the problems that this is creating in Jordan, in the Lebanon and elsewhere. There are some who say, arm the rebels. And there is no doubt that the arms industry in France and in the United Kingdom is putting pressure on the government to be able to sell more arms into Syria. But in the end, more arms will mean more deaths and more injuries. And I think there is great reluctance on the part of the Germans and others to involve ourselves more heavily in arming a region where relations are already extremely tense. A region in which we have Israel and Palestine, a region in which we have Iran, a region already unstable and potentially a conflagration of military activity. Unless Europe is united, we would be very unwise to get involved. Uh, the country belongs yeah, to those who could win elections. This is a very dangerous principle. Uh, the constitutional changes prove that this is the way how Orban thinks. And um, I'm, I'm really convinced that the European Union must use all its means, all its instruments uh, to fight this undemocratic development. I'm also very much concerned uh, about other countries in the region. Behind uh, Hungary, uh, there is a growing problem in uh, Bulgaria. There is no free press in Bulgaria. There are growing problems uh, also uh, with uh, how to deal with the political power in Romania. And starting a process against uh, Hungary uh, would mean uh, to prepare also measures against Bulgaria and Romania in case needed. Uh, so the proposals of Mr. Cameron and uh, Mr. Hollande uh, I learned about are not at all convincing for me. Both countries, uh, the United Kingdom and France, are members of the Security Council of the United Nations. I think, uh, as also um, Mr. Perez uh, said in European Parliament last uh, this week, yeah, uh, we should uh, in common go with all our possibilities and arguments uh, for um, United Nations uh, intervention in Syria, the United Nations uh, in uh, cooperation or in, with the leadership of the Arab League has the duty to solve the problem. I think it uh, has to make sure, uh, clear that it's uh, not an alibi again for the Iranians to find time. The sanctions must work and we should really cooperate now with the United States after they have the, given the promise to have also bilateral negotiations and I think it's a decisive moment that the Iranians move 